Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of Asha Carpets and in this video we're going to be going over a new tool and fix inside called the Starnet um, and it's basically about removing the stars from the ESO whether it's a nebula or a galaxy or whatever and it's just going to leave you be with a ESO without any stars, anything like that. So let's get into the video. So in order to have this in fix inside your um, your version must be the latest so how you check that is you go to resources you go to updates and you do check for updates and it's gonna load that up and it's gonna see if you have any updates available for mine I don't have any updates available so it's not gonna um, show anything for me but if you do then go ahead and download them update it and then you should be good to go and then once you do that you should um, be able to see Starnet in process, all process, and then just find Starnet over here. And first, if you want to use it, you have to address these two. So the way that's going to work is you click on the wrench tool, and right now it says RGB waves file. So you have to go ahead and find the file, copy paste it down here, and also do it for the monochrome version or the grayscale and copy paste it down here so I, I have already done that or you can just click on these two tools and go ahead and do it manually there so you can either copy paste or you can just go ahead and find it in your files by clicking the tools so I've already done that and it's gonna say it's gonna show a checkpoint which means um, it's been linked and you're able to use Starnet so we're gonna use it on this California Nebula we shot um, a week ago with using the ED80 the Skywatcher ED80 and the ZWO294 MC Pro and um, all you gotta do is grab this triangle and just put it on the picture and it's gonna show that it's gonna run it and by the way guys I am not an expert in PixInsight I have just started using PixInsight for about a week now and um, these are the tools I basically felt confident of sharing with y'all and um, yeah so I'm not an expert so please don't say hey why why are you doing that why are you doing this so because I'm not an expert at all so I'm just a beginner in fixing inside you know just like some of y'all so see it's running right now and I upgraded my PC and it's running like a horse man it's like really fast I just love it all right so 86 90 and in just a little bit all right as you see it's done so if you go to click undo you can see how it's done the star removal we're gonna close starnet for now and here's the look so if i click redo you can see it removed all the stars and if i click undo you can see all the stars back in and if you want to zoom into these little small um, stars you can see how to take care of them and it's it's done a pretty good job on some of these but the bright ones it leaves out a halo so it leaves behind a halo and you can tell that obviously you can tell it right here so if I click undo you can see that um, star it's really bright and if I click redo you can see it left out this not pleasant um, halo so there's a way you can get rid of it by going to process all processes and just finding the clone stamp tool and what you basically have to do is um, adjust these I basically just go with this one softness oh first you have to click on the image see I told you I'm not an expert so once you do that um, you can go ahead and adjust the softness I usually go all the way up because um, because I really want it to be really soft I don't want people to notice that I did something to the image so that's what I do and I usually just keep the opacity at 1 and for size for radius it really matters on how big the star is for, for example on this one if I just hold control and right left click on somewhere on the image you can see it's really small so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the radius and change it to maybe 25 and you can see it's got a lot bigger so I'm gonna go with this so if you want to take some example if you want to take a sample of the of the sky so for example I'm gonna do control left click on somewhere around here 
and just drag it and just apply it over here you can see it's been doing really good and right now you might be able to notice it but oops I don't know why I did that all right so now this is not looking good there's another way we can fix it so look at that that's obviously not something you want to go with so let's just um, redo this so I mean undo and let's change the opacity just a little. I know I said I'm not going to change the opacity but as I remember I did the last time I changed the opacity to somewhere around here 0.6 and I just kept the softness all the way up and I'm just going to increase this radius of this um, thing brush and again hold control key and left click on somewhere you want to click on and just go ahead and take it there now you guys notice it? probably don't well you probably do but you know it's really you have to take your time on this but you just want to you know get something really fast this is the way to do it and it's been doing great all right so let's redo you can see that and now it's gone and you cannot even tell anything so that's basically my technique on removing the halos from Starnet um, and it's been doing really good for me um, if you zoom in a little bit you could see some other ones for example this one right here let's take care of it again control pull down control key and left click to take the sample of where you want and just well that didn't turn out good did it okay this is not getting good all right so I'm probably not going to touch it for now because it's not really noticeable but um, you know what it is noticeable I thought it's not noticeable but it really is um, let's see how we can fix it maybe increase decrease the radius I'm going to do it 20 all right then softness all the way up and opacity maybe take it down a little bit and control and just go in and apply that there as you see it's done a great job and you can tell that as you see it here so we had these two star halos here well they're basically like shadows and if you redo it's gonna look like that but then again i like that a lot i mean that's done a pretty good job i don't see them anymore and honestly this is a great tool you guys can literally just download it for free um, I do see another halo over here, but I'm not going to worry about that as I've already taken care of all of these before. And this was just a video to show you guys the tool and how you can use it and how you can go ahead and use clone stamp to remove those halos from the, um, the, from the, from the stars. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and clear skies.